and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to take you through how to do a sumo squat with my good friend Aidan Carlini. He's Australian, so just, just bear that in mind. Yeah, we're going to talk you through how to do a sumo squat. We're going to talk you through good things, bad things, things we like to see, things we don't like to see, and basically how to nail one. I hope this helps, and that's coming up right now. First things first, we're going to talk about how to address the bar as you go ahead and do your sumo squat. It's very important that we set up correctly and that the setup will lead to a better lift further down the track. So we want to make sure that we get everything in place in the best manner. So Amy, if you'd like to step in for me, thank you very much. So conventional deadlift, we'd obviously keep our feet underneath our hips, but we're going sumo. So if you could take your feet well outside the hips, that would be great right in the middle of the bar. Lovely. And now in a sumo squat, some people like to have their toes pointed out like so, just shake them away. And some people like to have them parallel. And it's entirely up to you and how you feel when you do such an exercise. The other thing we need to make sure you do is you really line the bar up towards the shins. Is that all right? Can you hear me? Uh, to the shins, so that when we're lifting, we're not lifting the bar away, sorry. We're not lifting the bar away from the body. We're lifting it nice and close to the body, like so. Moving the feet further apart helps us engage the hamstrings and the glutes. Turning the toes out aids that just a little bit more as well. And the other thing you need to think about as you do this lift is all of your weight's gonna go through your heels. And I want you to imagine that you're trying to spread the floor apart, almost like there's an earthquake going through the center line of your body and you're just trying to cling into the floor and make that gap a lot bigger. So Aiden, if you could demonstrate, that'd be awesome. Oh, that's not me. Any grip. Whatever grip is most comfortable. So Aiden's doing an inverted grip, which is one hand over, one hand under. Make sure you rotate that as you go through your reps, or you can do both over. I personally prefer both over. Good. So stay there for me, Aiden. As we can see, Aiden's head and chin is tucked in nicely. Imagine you've got a little cocktail glass here and you're trying to keep a cocktail glass right in there on the chin. That would be perfect. This then allows the shoulder blades to come back and down, right down the back, which keeps the spine in a nice neutral position for us. So it keeps the spine in extension, not in flexion. I'll show you a side angle about that in a moment. The other thing he's doing is he's creating tension in his whole body by lifting up on the bar ever so slightly before he actually engages in the lift. And then when he does that, he sends all of his energy through the floor, through his heels, and that's what allows him to stand up, thus. Good. Come back down. Nice, couple more reps. How's that feel? Good. Awesome, right, press that. I'm just gonna interject now, and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like with someone who has much longer legs than Aiden, as I do my sumo squat. Because we both sumo squat slightly differently, and it's really important that you notice the differences in that. So, you know, I like to get very wide, and I like to turn my toes out very wide as well. I'm probably on about a 30 degree angle going outwards, like so. Then I will come down to here, obviously, chin down, all of that stays the same. Big deep breath, keep the ribs in and down, keep the shoulder blades back and down and I'll spread my knees out real wide and I'll grip the bar in the middle of the bar like so. But the same rules apply about scraping up the body and then returning exactly the same way as we lift. So here we go, I'm right up against the bar again, chin down, ribs in, shoulders back and down, come down, Grab the bar in between my legs, push through the floor, and up the weight comes. Remember that cocktail glass. Lovely. Let's rotate it around and we show you the side angle. We're going to get our feet out like so, as best we can. And then we're going to engage downwards. So, in order to do that, we're going to send the hips back and down, like so. Perfect. And you can see how his spine is in a beautiful neutral position. 
Shoulders above hips, that's what we want there, and that's going to allow us to lift in the best place possible. Then again, we send all of our energy through the floor, and we scrape the bar up the shins to stand up nice and tall. And back down for you. Now you notice he's keeping that shot glass in place the whole way throughout the lift. Because if he doesn't do that, on your next rep, if you just like to send the chin up for me, if he doesn't do that, you can see he begins to hyperextend upwards at the top of the lift, which is something we very much want to avoid. So we keep that chin tucked down, that keeps our ribs in. Nice big deep breaths, and off we go. And rest there. On the next rep, you can rest. <laughs> Lovely. Anything to add? No, no. Okay. Got it covered. That's what we like to hear. Good luck with your sumo deadlifts. If you have any questions, then please put them in the comments below. Thank you, Aidan, for being here. Oh, good. He's a good Aussie.